Syracuse team. John Kurtz comes to center ice against Paquette for the opening draw. Puck is down. Cedric Paquette winning it for the Tampa Bay Lightning's AHL affiliate. And we're underway. Launched to Hickel. Back beyond the goal line. Trying to get a piece of this one. As it is uh, finally going to be grabbed on. And then chopped away from Phil Parody's stick. Held in by the Antlers on the forecheck. Thanks to Smith Pelly. Centers in front. Wide open. A shot from Blacker. A save made. Rebound. And falling at his left tip. Desjardins got it. And now Blacker gets into a battle in front of the net as we've got our first fight of the night. This will be Blacker <laughs> and Cedric Paquette. Paquette throws off the elbow pad, tries an uppercut. His helmet is off. Blacker trying to fight his arms free. They turn one another around, back out near the top of the near ring. Neither guy able to get off much of a punch. Blacker trying to get that right arm free. Paquette hanging on for dear life. They grow tired, and the line's been jumped in. Shots on goal right now, 12-8 in favor of the ad. It's kind of an okay Friday crowd. Thought it might be a little bigger than this with the, the weather cooperating. Atlas from the corner, feeding in front. They've got a shot and a save, but a rebound. Raquel shot finds the back of the net. Edom set it high in the slot to Smith Pelly. His shot was turned away by Desjardins, but Rickard Raquel is there to bang home the rebound for a 1-0 lead on Raquel's 11th of the year. Lagadier and Kurtz over along the left side wing, and now Kurtz is going to drop the gloves, and he wants a piece of Cote. Here they go fighting, and a big right hand from Kurtz knocks down Cote. John Kurtz has been waiting for that opportunity for a while. And Cote is going to have to leave the ice. Covered up here by Desjardins. Desjardins looked like he got a little bump from Stortini. And now they want a piece of Stortini. Stortini, and who is that coming after him? That is going to be Phil Parody. Parody and Stortini fighting up against the near side glass now. Right now they hang on to one another, and now Stortini launches a big right uppercut. And then as he tries to get in close once again, he and Parody go down to the ice. Stortini tried to jump back up and continue the fight for the lines, but jump in and pull them apart. Zach Stortini will play his 600th career professional game. Here's Exelby with a big hit at center ice. And now Stortini's going to jump with Nielsen, and they'll fight up against the glass. Exelby put the hit on Nielsen, and then Stortini jumped right in. And right now it's a wrestling match between Nielsen and Stortini. No punches as of yet. The helmet of Nielsen is off. Neither guy able to get any leverage to get his arms free enough to punch. Not only are these... Great fighters, they're also very smart and very strong, and they make it very difficult for an opponent to do much damage. And right now, neither allowing the other to do much of anything other than grab on and wrestle. Scortini trying to get that right arm free. Nielsen trying to throw a right uppercut, but again, he's in so close, he can't do any damage with that. They're just going to hang on to one another and probably run out of gas. They appear to be tiring now, and the linesman will get in there this year. Here's a steal at center by Edom, racing down the wing, three on one, Emerson Edom across to Devante smith Kelly who rifles one hole! Anchors away as Devo strikes from the near side ring on a three on one rush, sparked by an Edom steal at center ice, it's two nothing Norfolk. by Gibson behind the net, and the Antlers knock to the wall as the horn sounds. Oh, hands on deck. John Gibson has his league-leading fifth shutout of the year. The Antlers continue their domination of their rivals from Syracuse, beating the Crunch for a fifth consecutive time. Norfolk wins it here tonight in the opener of a weekend set by a 2-0 final score.